first 15 minutes and the last 25 minutes. It's all kinds of things. Just being tough. You know, the guys, you know, Rhode Island, they was tough, you know, on the boards. And, you know, we just had to focus and slow down, you know, play poise and just stay in the control. And, you know, second half, we was more together as a team and stuff. So. What makes you feel like that run in the first half? Things changed? Like me, I just be out there playing, so I can't really tell till we get like a break. So I probably watch the film, and, you know, see the run and stuff like that. But uh, I think the second half helped us out a lot, just slowing down, you know, coming out in the second half, running plays, and just getting, just getting the game under control. What was going on in the first half? I mean, it seemed like every time you guys went down, there was a different kind of turn. Yeah, um, just going with the flow of the game. You know, I think we're so talented. You know, we just gotta adjust. You know, as the game goes, you know, we realized we turned the ball over and just second half we was better slowing the ball down and stuff like that. Was there too much one on one play the first half? Um, I really can't recall. You know, I'll be in the zone just playing and you know, I think we all just like I said, like I told you last week, just a little first little game jitters. You know, we only in our second game of the season. I think as we go along we'll get a lot better. At the other end of the floor, I know you guys have played a fair bit of zone. Aaron's role in that, just how mm -hmm. vital was that for you guys? He was so active at the top, you know, being still in deflection and it, we that one that zone has slowed him down a lot. Mm -hmm. The way Anthony played tonight in terms of he sort of almost picked the spot to sort of take control of the game. When we see that before from him, yeah. is it is it a matter of him trying to sometimes maybe not look as much as he should and then figures he has to, you know, he has to do it at that point. Um, Anthony gonna be Anthony. Y'all know, know what Anthony can do. Uh, I mean, he took over in the second half. And I think with this team, we got so much talent like that it could be anybody at any given moment. And I think with the depth that we have, it's, it's fun playing with so many talented players where I don't got to exonerate myself. I could just go out and play basketball. You know, with having you know, the second you know, game of a slow start, what do you think needs to change, you know, just you know, coming out so that you, know, you guys don't find yourselves in those holes? Um, energy. You know, just being ready to play. You know, I think we can – we don't want to wait to the second half, you know, we play against, you know, Big Ten play and stuff like that where they could probably come back to bite us. So, you know, just making sure we on top of the game, you know, from the start. Now that you've come out of it with a solid win, I mean, is there anything you can learn from how you guys handled the deficit and kind of were able to, to come back from that? Um, we've been there before. Last year, you know, we, we, we faced that adversity before. And I think, you know, with our sophomore group, you know, having the experience, I think, helped us out a lot. You know, we we seen that we was down a little bit, just being able to pers persevere and just fight through it. What did you guys talk about, you know, at the half defensively to hold them to, you know, only around 20%? You know, getting through ball screens, you know, getting over ball screens. And, you know, their guards was very tough, you know, um, making sure we just play team defense. Thank you. 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 Thank you.